In a previous video, we learned how expressions or equations can be used in any numeric field and within variables. By defining variables with expressions, it's possible to link them to previously created variables and allow driving or driven model dimensions to define them. Expressions in variables behave exactly the same as expressions in other numeric fields. The difference is that the final computed value is stored in a variable and can be reused or referenced in other expressions or variables. The same guidelines for units and the order of operations apply to expressions within variables. The expression used to drive the variable may be as simple or as complex as necessary. When a variable requires a value and a calculation must be made to compute that value, the expression for the calculation may be entered within the variable's value definition. This prevents the need to use a calculator for the computation and saves valuable design time. Variables may also contain expressions that reference other, previously created variables. As an example, consider a simple part consisting of a circular plate with a circular hub protruding from its center. A bolt circle needs to be defined with a diameter so that the bolt holes are positioned halfway between the outer diameter of the hub and the outer diameter of the circular plate. There are two variables to define the hub diameter and the outer diameter of the circular plate. To ensure the bolt circle diameter is centered between the other diameters, create another variable with the expression outer diameter plus hub diameter divided by two. If the outer diameter or hub diameter are modified, the value of the bolt circle diameter updates and the changes are propagated to the model. More advanced expressions, such as arrays, may also drive a variable's value. This variable changes its length dimension to preset values for every unique configuration. The array comes first followed by the numbered element starting at zero. When the config variable's value is set to one, the length variable's value would then be 60. Other advanced expressions, such as those containing ternary or logic operators may also be used within variables. Variables of the type any may also contain feature script functions. For example, here is a variable named adjust. The function adjusts a given length by doubling it and adding 2.5 millimeters. To utilize the variable, select a dimension or other numeric field and enter adjust 20 millimeters. The function within the variable returns a computed value of 42.5 millimeters. Finally, it's also possible to increment or modify the value of variables within a pattern. This can be particularly useful when creating a pattern consisting of varying feature dimensions. As an example, let's create a fan cover with varying slots. To begin, create variables to define the slot width, the slot spacing, and the slot instance count. Each variable is defined twice, as the second instance of the variable modifies the initial variable value. The slot width increases by 0.05 inches with each iteration, the slot spacing increases by 0.08 inches, and the number of slots decreases by one. The variables are computed prior to the slot sketches or patterns. So remember the iteration happens even with the initial instance of the pattern. For instance, the initial slot width should be 0.35 inches and increases by 0.05 inches with every iteration. The initial definition of the variable value should then be 0.3 inches to ensure the value used in the sketch results in the correct dimension of 0.35 inches. Once the variables are defined, cut a slot at the center of the plate. As features are patterned, Constraints in sketches that reference geometry outside of that sketch are ignored. Utilize fixed sketch constraints to prevent the sketch from shifting position as it is patterned. The width of the slot is defined with slot width. To complete the grate, create two feature patterns and a mirror. 
The first pattern includes the initial cut at the center of the plate, as well as the sketch. Set the distance of the pattern to slot spacing and the instance count to slot count. Use a horizontal edge to define the direction. The second pattern includes the variables slot width, slot count, and slot spacing. When a ply per instance is selected, on shape recomputes the value for each variable for each instance, resulting in incrementing values. The slot sketch, extrude feature, and original linear pattern are also included as features to pattern. A vertical edge defines the direction. The distance and instance count for the second pattern are not linked to variables and are simply defined with numeric values. The spacing is 0.5 inches and the instance count is 6. With each iteration of the second pattern, we can observe that the width and spacing of the slots are growing, while the number of instances decreases by one with each iteration, resulting in only three slot cuts for the final instance. Mirror the cuts to complete the grill for the fan cover. Do not include the faces of the first cut pattern since that row is not repeated. This process is also detailed in a tech tip published in the Onshape Resource Center and has been linked below in the video transcript. This example is one of many use cases that demonstrate the power and capabilities of variables and expressions and how they help to improve the intelligence and automation of the design process.